Chapter 6. Is it the goblet or... The three students soon reappeared at the entrance of the great hall. However, all was silent and dark. They could see a crowd of Hogwarts students crowded near the front of the hall and staring at a blue glow. Every so often, there would be a large blast of fire, followed by a cheer. Other students were on bleacher-like structures. What's going on? Don asked. Oh, must you know every single detail? Elizabeth questioned back at him. Thomas then looked closer. No, seriously. I don't remember our recent mission. I thought there was something about a prisoner of Azkaban, but I was confused about the whole thing. The other two agreed to a point, then dismissed the matter. Elizabeth went over to a wall and saw a poster that read, Harry Potter mysteriously suspected in incorrect accusation of Sirius Black. Former number one released. Story by Colin Creevy. Thomas then looked closer to what the students were doing. I know where we are. This is when Hogwarts hosted the Triwizard Tournament. This must be when they were choosing the contestants. Which means that must be the infamous Goblet of Fire. Wait, wasn't Harry a champion? Which is the correct term, I might add, Elizabeth said, correcting Thomas. Thomas nodded. The three got even closer and got a glimpse of the action. So that's him, Don commented on his impression of Professor Dumbledore. He looks different. Something about his face and beard from older photos. Elizabeth and Thomas both rolled their eyes. Dumbledore was taking out the names of who would compete in the tournament. The goblet had pushed out three pieces of paper, and when they thought they were done, one more appeared. He took it, looked confused, and somewhat whispered the name. Harry Potter. He then said it louder. Harry Potter! Harry, who was sitting in the back and on a side, was pushed up to the front. He then was taken aside in an uproar. The students were dismissed. Soon, it was just the three students and the Goblet of Fire. From down a hallway, they could hear the echoes of Dumbledore shouting and Harry quivering. Harry! Harry! Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? No, sir. Are you absolutely sure? The echoes started to disappear as the three students moved closer to the Goblet. Huh. That's odd. I remember reading somewhere that Dumbledore was quite gentle with Harry about the mix-up. He kindly asked him if I remember correctly, Thomas thought. Well, not everything you see is the same as how you read it, Don answered. Enough about Harry. We need to find out the next important part, Elizabeth begged. Thomas started to pace. Well, at this point in Harry's life, there are many things that could be. I'm trying to remember what I read in his biography. There was a giant golden egg from one of the challenges, some kind of medallion, the goblet, I suppose, and the trophy. The trophy? It was a trap for Harry to get to Voldemort, wasn't it? Elizabeth questioned with big eyes. Yes, Don and Thomas replied in a nervous voice, thanks to Elizabeth's scary look. Thomas started to pace again. It was technically a port key, and taking that it is important to Harry because of that reason, I don't think that is the item we need to find. Don stopped Thomas in his tracks. Oh, the stone, fang, and poster weren't important? Hey, I'm just trying to figure out. Oh yeah, who made you the leader? Boy, stop it! You're acting like children. We are children. Technically teenagers, but still young enough, Thomas clarified. Don and Elizabeth agreed. Don and Elizabeth then saw a piece of something on the floor by the goblet. It was the piece of paper that Dumbledore was holding when he called out Harry's name. It was half burned with little pieces of it missing from all around. On the piece of paper were the words, Harry Potter. That's got to be it, Elizabeth whispered to Don. Don slowly nodded his head, starting to agree. Thomas started to pace back and forth again. He, he started to mumble to himself, trying to figure out what. We have four options. An egg, a medallion, the goblet, and I'm still going to include a trophy. It could be the egg, but what's so important about an egg? Then it could be the medallion, but medallions are overrated for being important in the magic world. The goblet, the goblet is way too big, and the trophy, well, let's not get into that again. However, Don's right about the Sorcerer's Stone and the other items. They were important in Harry's life at the time as well, but we just made a duplicate of one, there are multiples of another, and the latest was something unique, I think. So what do we do? Uh, 
Thomas, what? Thomas shouted. Calm down, Sculptor. I'm sorry you and I got into it. I think you can just calm down. Have you noticed when you mumbled to yourself? It sounds like another language. Look over here, Don insisted. Look at what? The goblet? Is it the goblet or... Look a little further down. Thomas tilted his head down to see where Don and Elizabeth were. What's that? Thomas questioning about what his friends were surrounding. It's Harry's name from the goblet. I think it's the next part. Well, then hold on, Thomas said. They all grabbed the paper carefully and held on tight. Nothing happened. I knew this simple magic would wear off sooner or later, Don said back on the floor. Thomas then looked up at the goblet. There might be another way to get to the next moment in time. Give me the paper. Thomas then took the paper, pointed his wand at it, whispered, and threw it into the goblet. Thomas! Don and Elizabeth both shouted. The goblet then glowed and flames launched out of the goblet. Then one big burst of flame came out and engulfed the three students in fire. They soon disappeared from the empty hall.